Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make calico tags. It's a scrap buster. But first, let's have our shout out to Lori, Sherry, Nancy, Gwyneth, Lola Gamma, Sweet Drops 45, Julie, Vic, Grace, and Susan's Heartstrings. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is my box of napkin scraps. I have quite a few. Let's go ahead and let's pull them out. Alrighty, so there we are. Now, I have a piece of music paper. I have my watered down white school glue. I add more glue than water, but I don't measure, so I'm no help in that department. You're going to make it kind of runny. You can see how it comes out here very quickly. Pretty runny. I have a brush here that I've got in some water and I'm just going to apply my glue right on to my music paper and I'm just going to spread it out using my brush just like this and then I'm going to start to collage and let's start with this piece right here. I'm just going to lay it right on and then I'm just going to brush the glue lightly over the top so it gets stuck to the music paper. Let's add another one. Let's go this way. Just like that. Now I'm going to add just a little bit more glue on the top here. Now remember you can't brush it too many times. Get it too awful wet before it will rip on you. We don't want it to rip. So we're just going to do like that lightly. Let's see what else can I come up with. Oh, this is a pretty one. I'm going to add a little bit more glue onto here. And let's just spread it on just like this. And I think that will fit right on there like that. It's going to have a if you have a few wrinkles, don't worry about it. It will all be fine when you get done with this project and you, you make your tags. It will be absolutely perfectly fine. Now let's see. Let's get a little bit more glue on here. I'm just working my way across and I'm just selecting some things. Let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, this one's awfully pretty. Let's add this one. I don't know about y'all, but when I do a napkin project, I have lots of scraps left over, and I absolutely can't throw them away. So, I've been saving them, and I decided, well, why can't we just collage with napkins? We do it with paper all the time. So that's what I did, and I decided, oh my goodness, to make some tags out of this would be really cool. Now you could do all kinds of things with these. You don't have to make tags, but this is the project that I wanted to do today with you, is make some calico tags. So we are working here. Let me check my time. Now once you get this all um, glued down, I'm almost done here. I think I'm going to put this piece going this way. Once you get these all done, you might find that, for instance, right, right here, it's a kind of a white tag and there's not a lot of color right there. You could always add something that's very different, like this napkin that I have right here. It's very different from all the rest. And I'm just going to add it right on here, just like that, because what it will do, it'll just create a totally different look. Absolutely super cool, don't you think? 
it just kind of changes everything. It breaks it up and it took care of that little spot that didn't have much color to it. You could also, where the napkins come together like this one, you can go ahead and place a little bit more glue on that spot, spread it out, and add something like a skinny piece right there. I just think that it really changes things. It, it just starts making everything look totally different. So once you have this completely done and it is dried, I suggest that with mine, what I did was to make sure that all the napkins are really attached well to your music paper and there's not any that are going to come up or pull up or anything like that. I put another layer of white school glue over the whole thing and let it dry again. Okay, so that's what I did. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to show you some of those that I made. Put this back in my basket and they look like this. Isn't that gorgeous? Now you can see I used that one napkin like I showed you where the napkins came together. I just placed it here and there. Isn't that gorgeous? Sorry guys, I had to cough. <laughs> and there's this one. And there's this one. This one's beautiful too. So different. Each one of them is completely different than the rest. Goodness gracious. So this has the extra layer of glue over the top. There's nothing that's coming up. It's all very, even though there's some wrinkles in it, it's very smooth. What I want to do next is I'm just going to trim off my napkin. Oh, I know what I was going to say to you. I ironed it. After it was after dried, after I put on the second coat of the white school glue, I ironed them. So they're completely, you know, free of wrinkles. They still want to curl, but they're pretty free of wrinkles. Now, after I got it all trimmed off here, then what I did was I brought in a piece of, let's see here, get this trimmed off, a piece of coffee dyed paper. And I need to grab one real quick. And I wanted to back it with my coffee dyed paper because this is way too lightweight for a tag for my preference. But adding the two together, I find that it will be the weight that I will like to make a tag from. So I'm going to take the, the end, the bottom of my Tombow glue, and I'm going to generously place my glue onto the back of my music paper. Now you could use white school glue if you want. You don't have to use Tombow glue. You can use any glue of your choosing. I suggest maybe not to use hot glue. That's pretty hard and it doesn't smooth out real well, especially in this project. It would probably dry before you got everything covered. And I'm going to place, this is probably the hardest part of all of it because it's Kind of curling. I suppose if you put this underneath a book overnight, it would stop its curling. Okay, got that down. Now I'm going to bring in my little card and I'm just going to rub it like this with my little card just to help get everything stuck down and take out any air pockets that might be. Now, that's sturdy enough for my liking for a tag. 
The next thing that I did was I started deciding what shape tags I wanted. I'm going to turn it on this side and I'm going to just say I want one that's about three inches wide. So I think I'm going to just grab my ruler and I'm going to lightly draw a line. Otherwise, I take it to my guillotine, but it's a large guillotine and it won't fit underneath here. And I'm just going to do it this way for the purpose of the video. And I'm just going to trim this just like that. So there's one like this. Now I think that's a little long for my journals. So I do, I can I should say, bring in my guillotine here. I'm going to even this up because it's not even at all. Alright, so now we're starting with some even ends. The ends are even and probably this is eight inches. Let's just cut it in half. Let's just cut this right in half and I'm just going to use my guillotine and chop it in half and I'm going to make sure the sides are all even. So that's a pretty tag. That's very beautiful. Let's try this one. Let's get this one evened up. Alrighty. Nope, that's not even at all. There we are. Oh my goodness, isn't that pretty? Now let's go ahead and make it into a tag shape. So I'm just going to... Do I want it this way? But nope, I want it this way. I'm just going to cut a little bit off like this. Turn it over on the other side and trim this. And then hopefully it's not too wet and I can bring in my corner rounder. That's a beautiful tag. We're not done by any stretch of the imagination. Now let's trim this one off and Trim it off right here. Turn it around. There we go. And let's do a little rounding of the corners. Hope you're not hearing my dog. She wants some more to eat and she does not need anything more to eat. In fact, she shouldn't have anything more to eat, but she thinks she needs more to eat. So if you're hearing her, I apologize. I do have my white noise machine on, but I can hear her, so I'm thinking maybe you can hear her. I'm not sure. So, inking around the edge, and then I sewed mine. Okay, so I'm going to show you what they look like. Oh, wait, no, I didn't do one yet. I didn't sew it yet. What I did was I brought in, I forgot about this part, I brought in some washi. And it really doesn't matter what washi you want to add, but I thought, I think, this one might be really pretty. Or this one, this blue one, might be really pretty on here. And I'm going to grab my glue stick because this is, goodness gracious, this is... Um, napkin. I'm just not sure how it's going to, the washi is going to stick on it. So I'm going to add some glue stick to it and I'm just going to place my washi right on there like that. And just trim it off. Now you could, if you wanted to, you could take your piece before you cut it and you could lay washi on this however you wanted to. I just decided that I'd rather see each individual piece and decide what I wanted to add as far as the washi. So I did think about doing it a different way and decided that I wanted to do it this way. So if you want to add your washi before you cut it all up, you definitely could do that. I mean, it's all up to you how you want to do this. But I just wanted to say 
that that is an option. So there, I've added some washi. Now, after I added the washi onto my tags, then, here, here are my tags that I made, I sewed around the edge. Now, you don't have to sew around the edge if you don't have a sewing machine. The tag's going to be just beautiful without sewing around the edge. But I chose to do that. I absolutely love sewing around the edge. I'm going to shut my door. Maybe that's going to help because she's kind of bothering me. Okay, I love my little doggy so much, but she can't have any more food, and I can't go to bed yet, and that's really what she wants. Is if I can't feed her some more food, she wants to go to bed, so she's just going to have to wait a few minutes. All right, I brought in a few things that I really thought that we could decorate this up together. Let's see here. How about for this one, I have these beautiful butterflies and I really thought they would be pretty on here maybe something like that and maybe we say a tag on there that says New York so I'm going to go ahead and glue these on so I'm going to cut this just like this because I want it to be like that. I don't want to cover up my sewing. So I'm going to take it like that. And then this one, I'm barely going to cut the tip off of this one. Something like that. Now, these are to me, these tags are so pretty that you wouldn't have to decorate them anymore if you didn't want to. But I thought for the sake of the video that I would show how I would decorate these up a little bit. So I'm just pulling this one up just a tiny bit just to get it the wing just a little bit over the top of that one. And so I've got a lot of glue coming out of that one. I've got a lot of napkin. <laughs> napkin little pieces here. Isn't that looking beautiful? Now, I do have a ruffle that I really thought I would attach right up here at the top. Okay, so I have my glue gun here, and I'm going to attach my little yellow ruffle on the top. For my tab. I'm going to attach it onto the back. Just like this. And then I have a piece of sari silk that I made a bow and I'm going to place it right here on the top like this. And then maybe I could maybe mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to trim this like this, and then I want to just add a little bit of glue right here. I'm just going to turn this like that, just to hold the ends of the bow in place. And then on this one, I've got that butterfly right there. So maybe if I just attach it like that and then cut this one, it goes this way, like that. Well, that wasn't very good. That wasn't very good at all. Okay. And there's that one. Oh, so pretty, right? This one right here, I thought maybe a fussy cut, digitalcollage.com, shabby dabby doodah bow, and maybe a little label. So that one's pretty quick and easy. Let's just lay this down like this, and maybe place it about right there. 
And let's get our little label on here. That's a shabby dabby doodah label. Uh, a little bit further down, maybe like that. And then let's do the bow that I outlined with a black magic marker to really make it pop. Oh my goodness, isn't that one cute? So very cute. Now I have a little tiny one here. I have a Tracy Fox label. I have three buttons. I have a calico ribbon, a check ribbon. I thought the check ribbon could go right down the side like that. Just like that. We could put the buttons right on top of the calico ribbon, just like that. More blue stick. And this one. And then attach, fold the label in half and attach it as the tab. Use that as the tab. I thought that would be super cute. And then there's that one. Oh my goodness you guys, there's so many different things you can do with calico paper. <laughs> oh my goodness, if you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.